when I was um, 18 years old, I bought a jean jacket. And that jean jacket I wore through some pretty ugly seasons of my life. It, um, it was a time when I was running from God and I was a mess. I was in wrong relationships. I was, I was doing a lot of crazy, crazy stuff. It was sad and dark. And I wore that coat all through that season. It, it, here's what's amazing. I have kept that coat all these years. And it's been in my closet. I never got rid of it. I've got a new coat now. A really, really very cool coat that I've had for a long time now. And it kind of, kind of becomes symbolic now of my new life. It's got like a fur collar, and I have held my kids in this coat, and I have had coffee in Banff at Lake Moraine in this coat. People know me as the real John in that coat. But sometimes, isn't this crazy? Sometimes I get sad or I get hurt, and I forget who I am, and I forget the real John Lynch, and I am tempted in my shame then to want to go back and put that other coat on. Even though it's dark, I remember that. I remember what it felt like, and there was a certain security. Even in the darkness and the shame of that, it was familiar. It's interesting, there's the, a, a huge recidivism rate in prison of people who go back to prison once they've been released because they never learned to live in freedom. And some of us, even now, even as new creatures, are willing to trade the new coat for something that feels familiar, even though dark. I've never gotten rid of that coat. And tonight, even as we're in this chapter, to be able to say, even though I'm a brand new creature, man, I pulled the old coat out of the closet. This would be a great, great time to talk with someone else about that very truth.